The Alaskan landscape is among the most beautiful in the world, with vast forests, towering mountain ranges, and beautiful seascapes. But it is also among the most challenging for pilots to navigate, due to weather that can vary dramatically from one location to the next and change rapidly. Complicating the impact of weather is the fact that there are very few weather observation stations in Alaska. To provide up-to-date information on the conditions, especially those that can make air travel challenging. That is why, beginning in 1999, the FAA began installing a network of low-cost camera observation stations throughout the state. These cameras are giving pilots a first-hand look at the weather conditions through a dedicated website. A pilot can check the view at their destination from four cameras looking in multiple directions. They can also check the weather conditions at points along their route, such as mountain passes they will fly through and alternate landing sites. They can even loop through past images to see how the weather is changing. The only problem now is that since each observation station captures a new image every few minutes, the number of images a pilot must review can be overwhelming. But what if an algorithm could automatically check the imagery and tell pilots when the conditions are not safe for travel? This would significantly reduce the workload for the pilot while still providing important notifications when danger lies ahead. Another benefit of automation would be the ability to improve weather forecast models with the inclusion of rapid update camera-derived weather observations to augment the current weather observation network. To accomplish these ambitious goals, the FAA turned to MIT Lincoln Laboratory, which has a long history of developing automation technologies to develop an algorithm that can use camera imagery to estimate visibility. This algorithm is known as Visibility Estimation Through Image Analytics, or VIA. We began working on the idea of using camera imagery as a pseudo-weather observation system back in the 2000s. The idea was simple, use automation to perform the same tasks a human weather observer would do to estimate the visibility. This involved using edge detection to identify markers in a scene that are a known distance from the observation station. Then, based upon the presence or lack thereof, one can estimate the visibility. From a clear image, we can identify a number of edges or markers. On a clear day, these markers are sharp with a strong edge strength. When we look at a low visibility day, these edges are no longer visible. One of the first challenges to overcome was ensuring that the appearance or absence of a transient object like moving vehicles, people walking, or even a bug on the camera lens doesn't impact the results. Essentially, VIA needs to know which objects or landscape features are important. This is particularly challenging in Alaska, where dramatic seasonal changes can impact what a clear day scene looks like. The team solved this problem by using a rolling 10-day window to create a composite image that represents a clear day for comparison. This technique eliminates transient objects because only edges that have been persistent for 10 days will come through. This way, VIA was able to work on any camera in Alaska without any site-specific tuning. One problem, though, was that sometimes antenna or other objects very close to the camera would dominate the scene. Since those objects are always visible in any weather, the algorithm would think that the conditions are clear even if the edges beyond the antenna were fading away. To overcome this, the development team used a scanning technique to find the horizon and the second darkest edge along each pixel column in the image. This technique, known as the Horizon Plus method, improves results by guaranteeing that the selected edges are well distributed across the scene and not clustered or dominated by an antenna or tree in the foreground. Another challenge was the impact of solar glare. When a camera is looking into the sun, it washes out all the edges and makes the image very dark. This causes the algorithm to report low visibility, even though the true visibility may be unlimited. VIA works best when the sun is behind the camera, which ideally lights the scene and provides the best view. Luckily, the FAA Weather Camera Network is set up to have four cameras, all pointing in different directions at most locations. So when the solar glare is degrading one view, there is another view with optimal lighting. To solve this challenge, the Lincoln team developed an algorithm that creates a single estimate by using the location of the sun relative to each camera to dynamically weight its contribution to the overall site estimate. 
This has proven to be very effective in creating an accurate prevailing visibility estimate. The FAA is now preparing to make VIA a new feature on the Weather Camera website and has conducted user trials. Extracting visibility estimates out of FAA weather camera data is an exciting step forward. This additional information helps pilots as we're planning a flight. The weather camera system has already helped us make better go, no-go decisions by actually letting us look at the weather before we depart. Quantifying visibility should help us flag potential trouble spots along a route of flight. Ultimately, we can look closely at the images to get the best understanding of what's happening with the weather in those locations.